This is exactly what I was talking about actually. Our investment in the identity has been so strong that now for most of you actually your identity is just resting on your spirituality. I have to say this. You are hanging on to dear life. The identity is hanging on for dear life using spirituality itself. Just let it go. What is true cannot be left. The truth will not leave you. If you are still presenting the me, I cannot give a f give freedom to any me. I can only show you what you are prior to all identity. And what's even uglier than the me pretending to be the person is the me pretending to be awareness. God pretending to be the person, pretending to be awareness. is a complete misunderstanding of satsang misuse of satsang by the mind itself. Pretending that I learned something or I understood something satsang is not for this. It is to look, it is to check. And if there, if there is a point to the Sangha, the point to the Sangha must be to be there to support each other in the dropping of concepts. To support each other when it seems like more and more concepts are being picked up. or when it feels like something is feeling hurt when the concepts are being dropped. It is for this that we have the Sangha that not to spread some concepts Whatever words are being used also are being used so that other concepts are being removed because of them.
So let's all drop this stubborn insistence on being a person. Any personal attribute, including the seeker, is not what you are. All the tools, what you have to do, what you have to check, what you have to drop, everything has been provided to you. Guruji's grace has made all of this available to us, isn't it? The idea that we have to get somewhere is personal. Because both the recognition, who am I, the recognition that I am this awareness is available now. And you cannot say that I will drop the conditioning in the future. You can only say now I am not buying what the mind is selling.